This piston has perfect carbon buildup, meaning the premix ratio is correct, the carb is tuned right, and the transfer ports are flowing freely. This piston did make contact with the intake side of the cylinder, indicating the piston warmed up before the cylinder and expanded too fast. This is what happens when you don't let your engine warm up. I have to replace this piston, but if your piston still looks good, it may still be within spec, and if it is, all you need are new rings. Your piston must be in perfect condition in order to reuse it, so one thing wrong and it needs to be replaced. You will, however, need new wrist pin clips regardless of your piston's condition. Expand the rings and move them straight up off the piston. Do not try to unwrap the rings. You can use a ring spreader, but your fingernails work just fine. Label the top and bottom rings accordingly. You will not reuse these rings, but you will need them later. Clean the carbon from the crown of the piston with parts cleaner and a plastic scraper. Clean the pin bore and pin grooves with a soft brush and a pick. Inspect the piston crown for damage. If you find any, replace the piston. Inspect the ring grooves and locating pins. If they are damaged or you have missing pins, replace the piston. Inspect the piston skirt. If you find any abrasions or cracking, replace the piston. Inspect the interior of the piston and pin bore for wear or cracks. Guess what you need to do if you find any. Clean and dry the wrist pin bearings, then check for excessive wear or damage. Measure the pin at the three contact points and the pin bore. The pin should measure no less than 0.707 inches. The pin bore should measure no greater than 0.709 inches. The piston to pin clearance can be no greater than 0.0016 inches. To calculate the piston to pin clearance, subtract the smallest wrist pin measurement from the largest pin bore measurement. The largest bore measurement for this piston was 0.708 inches, and my smallest pin measurement was 0.707 inches, resulting in a clearance of 0.001 inches, which is within spec. Inspect and measure the connecting rod bore. The con rod bore can be no greater than 0.867 inches. If the connecting rod is out of spec, you will need to replace the crank assembly. Insert the needle bearing into the rod bore. If the con rod bore is in spec and there is play, the needle bearing needs to be replaced. Even though you will not be reusing your piston rings, we can still use them to see what the engine has been up to. Roll them around their respective grooves and feel for any snags or binding. Lubricate the crown and groove with assembly lube or two-stroke oil. Position the bottom ring with the IT mark facing up. Spread and install the ring straight down over the piston. Make sure the ring is seated against the locating pin. Repeat with the top ring. Press the rings into the groove and measure around the piston with a feeler gauge. The top ring should have a clearance no greater than 0.0037 inches, and the bottom ring should have a clearance no greater than 0.026 inches. Repeat this process with the new rings. If the clearance exceeds spec with the new rings, the piston must be replaced.